Okay, hello and welcome to Let's Play Battalion Wars. My name's Golden Sheep, and I'm going. The next LP is going to be Battalion Wars. This is a strategy game. It's also a fantastic game. Not exactly as high profile as Pokemon and Mario and Zelda, but it's a great game nonetheless. So, without further ado, once there's, there's a little bit of a loading thing at the beginning with the memory card and stuff, but eh, well, it's not that big of a deal. See, even the beginning bit when they're shooting the letters and then the wars, the, le the word wars, the, the letter wars, the word wars, the bomb is just really cool. Anyway, yeah, there's two loading screens and we had to start. Don't worry, it's really not as bad as Sonic 06. Anyway, without further ado, Patrol and Reconnoitre. Fucking hell, what was that? Patrol and Reconnoitre. 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 Reconnoitre? Reconnoitre. Reconnoitre? Recon what? What the fuck? Patrol and reconnoitre. Reconnoitre. Reconnaissance. Patrol and reconnoitre. The Demi. The fucking hell. I can't even read this. Patrol and reconnoitre the demilitarized zone on our border with the Tundran territories. Tundra is gearing up for something and we need to keep an eye on them. It's time to put your basic training into practice and find out what kind of game they're playing. The demilitarized zone on the border between the Western Frontier and the Tundran Territory. For months now, the site of an uneasy truce between two mighty armies. This is a waiting game, with both sides primed to retaliate in the event of a preemptive strike. But on this historic day, control of the Tundran Empire passes from the iron grip of Tsar Gorgi into the more progressive hands of his son and heir, Marshal Nova. And with Nova in charge, there are those who dare to whisper that this time, peace might just endure. War is a contact sport, gentlemen. Sack that defensive line. Go, go, go! are getting mighty twitchy down there. We got the men, we got the playbook. Where's the conflict? The world is changing, Herman. Looks like this truce could last a long, long time. What? You gotta be pulling my pin. But if we have to fight, then fight we shall. In the meantime, the men are getting out of shape. How about we organize a little sortie to perk up their spirits? A field exercise. Mm. With live ammo, of course. Eddie, I like the way you think. Okay, just for a little bit of context, I should say that, from what I know, the Tundran Territories, who are the red team, and the Western Frontier are the green team. <laughs> it makes it sound like a game show. Red team ready, green team ready. No. Um, I've been fighting a war for about 30 years Come if in, I'm Commander. taking some information Bring from uh, the second game. And Jesus, Betty, you just interrupted me, you rude bitch. Okay, just quick note. Even though this isn't my most knowledgeable subject, she literally, honestly, is Brigadier Barbie. Be putting you through your paces On, she looks pretty much control. identical to that Barbie from uh, Toy Stories. The Toy Story film 1 2. The, uh, the controls are really simple L to lock on, A to shoot, uh, B to jump and do a combat roll when you targeted, like that. And R to move camera freely around, which I'll do in a moment. And then. There are some other controls, but no, we can really do right now, like the Y and X button, and Z. So, 
with that out of the way, this game is really good, but it's also pretty difficult. You're going to want to savor these first few missions, because after that, it's pretty freaking tricky. And there's a Tundra spy who must die so he can lie and eat some pie with his friend Kai. Dime out of words that rhyme with I. Listening post? Man, these are the, just the most frightening technology in the world. Look at them. Barrels and sticks. Ah! The mighty combination of barrels and sticks is just terrifying. Ooh, oh, that. Hey, why are you not dying? I was shooting and it wasn't dying. That, what is with all the shit technology? Seriously, they've got barrels and sticks and then literally like helium balloons. I thought balloons were meant to be like tough so they couldn't get popped by bullets. I don't know. I know I'm not exactly the field expert on balloons, but... I know they're listening, but Jesus. These these tundra are real perks. There's another one around here, isn't there? No, never mind. I guess that was just me. More listening posts than spy balloons. Spy balloon. Where? Your command isn't gonna like this. I don't see no listening. Go ahead and destroy them all. I also don't see no spy balloons. There it is. Yep. So you pretty much. Ah. Why is this not dying? Gonna say that was ridiculous. I was literally shooting it, and all the bullets were missing. And yeah, the lock on can be a bit. The controls are more or less good, there's just a few occasions where it's not. And I'm gonna need to hurry the hell up if I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, sorry, Brigadier Barbie. Let's see how you feel when you're carrying a machine gun and packs of stuff on your back wearing combat okay. boots. Let's see how quickly you can run. Darn it, he's a gunner. That oh man, that was my friend. That was Darren. He was there from the beginning. I can't believe he's gone. I will avenge you, Darren. Okay, so we got some more controls here. You can use uh, X to make him um, move with you. And X again to put the shield sign up. When the shield sign up, uh, when the green triangle is up, they're going to be following you and nothing more. If you want them to stop and actually fight people, you're going to have to press it again. Um, Y will pretty much assign them. Also, when you're locking onto a target, and you oh shit, and you press Y, they will shoot at it. And when you're not locking onto a target, and you press Y, it'll show them where to stand. This isn't actually relevant for a while, in my knowledge. Actually, no, it is coming up in a moment. The big ammo dump. Jesus, that ammo took a massive dump. Yeah, and you can use the C stick to organize it between troops. And now I don't get any of them, I'm just going to run them over. Yeah, so there's a lot of, there's quite a lot of troops. POW! So sexy, I just smashed through that barbed wire. And I can't shoot, I'm sure you could shoot with a recoil. But for some reason it wouldn't let me shoot. Anyway, that's it, the mission's over. And as you can see, Tundrans have broken the truce. They lied to me! See? Oh my god, Rivia Barbie knew something right. Doing? Jesus. And you're going to have to fight all these with your recon and fire troops. Not really, you will get raped. Because there are heavy tanks, light tanks, gunships. As I said, there's an awful and hell of a lot of troops in this game. You thought wrong, didn't you, really a bitchhead? That too. Can I be on the, the Tundran side, please? I mean, look at the commanders we've got on our side. We've got a chubby umpa -lumper, Colonel Austin, who's pretty okay, and Brigadier Barbie. And then... Oh, sweet, you got an S rank. Yeah, you get ranked on these for speed, technique, and power. Speed's how quickly you do the mission. Technique's how many troops you lose, and power's how many troops of the enemies that you kill. And I think you need something like 90 plus to get an S. I don't know. Maybe put them on the screen now if I can find out. Anyway, with that done, we've done the first mission in this game. And even though it's a little bit of a slow start, it is the first mission, trust me, this game does get a lot harder. And in the next one, we're actually going to get into some proper, less tutorial stuff. Thank you for watching, I've been Gordon the Sheep, like and subscribe if you want to see more Battalion Wars or other content. And I'll see you in the next one.